Hi, this is Mark Sperling from T3Live.com. 观众朋友们，大家好，欢迎收看今天的《直击美股》，我是主持人张叔，在纽约向您问好。周一美股涨跌互现，今天大多数的时间美股是在窄幅震荡。有意思的是，在二零一四年十二月份，标普五百指数首次触及了两千一百点之后，现在市场又回到了同样的点位。因此，总的来说是像一个过山车一样，我们又回到了当初的位置。而今天使得市场承压的主要是能源板块，而在这一板块当中，关于中国的担忧是在上涨。其中，中国官方给出的贸易数字显示。中国的一个原油进口数和去年的历史同期相比呢，是增长了百分之七点六。但是这是由于更多的公司是得到了国家颁发的一个进口许可证。但是总的来说，贸易的状况并不使人乐观，因为中国的整体的贸易进口量相比去年同期是下降了百分之十点九，而出口量呢也是下跌了百分之一点八。好的，让我们来看一下美国国内的一些联储主席的讲话。美国芝加。哥的联储主席表示，以当前美国经济的一个状况呢，认为能够支撑今年美国的一个 GDP 增长百分之二点五。但是另外一方面，我们看到上周五是有一个不太理想的就业报告公布。在此之后呢，纽约的联储主席表示，虽然这份报告让他对于美国经济状况有一些担忧，但是依然认为两次加息是合理的。好的，更多的消息，让我们来看一下今天交易员的独家分析。Hi Mark, your stocks closed mixed today, and actually we're in a position that the market needs some growth to push this market going up, and we are still waiting for that kind of drive. And to be more specific, this market has gone nowhere since we first approached the 2100 in December the 2014s. So, do you think is it possible to have a new high ahead of us, and、uh, what kind of pressure we're facing right now? Well, based on what I'm seeing, I think it's a good question,、mm -hmm. and. You know, we did have a very nice bounce from you know February lows or the diamond bottom, however you want, however you want to call it. And really, we have been you know wandering around this area, just languishing back and forth, and we really haven't gone anywhere. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't know if that's going to change.、Um, you know, I think we're in this in this sort of holding pattern for a period of time. Earnings weren't that good.、Um, you know, interest rates are sort of staying on the sidelines at this point in time. I don't know what's going to push us. Um, you know, ahead maybe the second half of the year, but again, that's time is what is what is on our side. So I think we just have to. It's we're in a holding pattern. I think you just really have to hang tight. Okay, we see some、uh, positive signals. For example, healthcare traded more than one percent higher, and IBB traded more than three percent higher. So do you think this sector may be the new leader of the market? No. <laughs> okay. But but they had a good move. They did have a good move.、Um, And、uh, you know every dog has its day. Not that bio's necessarily a, a dog, but it has been, and really it has not rallied as some of these other sectors have rallied、uh, from the bottom.、It's, as you can see, it's basically almost right at its bottom.、Mm -hmm. um, it did have a nice rally today, after I think almost two full weeks of down action. So overall, I said, as I said, I think if you get another up day tomorrow morning,、mm -hmm. I think you look to take some trades into that move and. Move on again and let it、okay. digest and set up again. And it seems like there is a lot of rotation going on into safe havens, and、uh, there's concern about the strength in economy, and、uh, also the Chinese concern, and the dollar is getting strengthened. So that's not helping the commodities at all. So do you think the oil is facing some pressure right now? And how about the energy sector? I, I actually do think the oil is due for a little bit of a pullback at this point in time.、Mm -hmm. You can just see it's really hit the 45, 46 level. Coming from 26, it's a very big move.、Um, I don't know which way people are positioned more, but I would expect if you see below 43, which would almost be like around 10 on the USO, I think you can get some more selling pressure that actually occurs. Now we could—I don't think we're going back to 26,、mm -hmm. but I wouldn't be surprised to see us down to 30, 35, 36 level、um, in the short term. If that happens, so I am not looking for us to get the 50. I think we actually get to, you know, the mid third, upper 30s before we get the 50. Okay, and also today we see Amazon and Google adding some gains to the Nasdaq. So how do you think about these two stocks tape?、Right? Well, Amazon certainly chart-wise, it's the best in breed. It had、mm -hmm. terrific earnings. It basically just had some continuation from its earnings. It now it did hit some resistance. It, it, it tested、uh, the high of earnings day or the second、mm -hmm. day after earnings day. And sold off right towards the end of the day. I think it just means it needs a little bit more time, which is what is expected after such a big move.、Mm -hmm. Overall, it looks terrific. Any pullback should be bought. 
Google needs more time to digest, but it had a nice move from the 710 area to 730. Mm -hmm. And overall, it looks okay to me, um, but it needs time. It needs, I, I would expect some pullback and some digestion. It needs to start forming a better pattern mm -hmm. in order for it to really hold, this, hold these higher levels. It's not going to do it in one, one or two days. It needs weeks at least to do it. So I would, you know, on pullbacks, severe pullbacks, I'd look to get involved. On any really push higher, I'd actually look to take some trades. Okay. And also in Chinese sector, we see some stocks going wild. So how do you think about these stocks? And also JD.com, they reported a disappointing uh, quarterly results. How are their tapes looking right now? JD doesn't look good, and mm -hmm. there's a lot of stocks. I mean, Baba is one, one of the few Chinese stocks I would say that is holding up. But you, you know, you had Baidu that actually reversed a little bit um, after some negative news from you know that they're getting investigated. But you had YY and Kihu that really got demolished, and mm -hmm. you know I think that was on the negative sentiment on the negative news. Um, I personally would stay away from that. Okay, that's all we have for today. Thank you. Have a good night. 感谢您收看，我们明天再见。